Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody, and happy day 16 of Vlogmas. We are almost there. Today we are doing a Sydney Cummings workout, which I'm very excited about. Like I said yesterday, I did review Sydney two or three years ago now, and I really enjoyed her workouts, her programming, her overall energy. I have heard rumblings that she's like changed things up recently in terms of her schedule, in terms of the programming. So I'm very intrigued, and I'm definitely gonna try one of her newest workouts. We're doing a lower body day today, and the workout we're going to do is the 30 minute legs and glutes strength back to basics workout. And that's what I wanna talk about today, the basics. I think a lot of time with social media, you tend to see the fun stuff and not like the meat and potatoes. Meaning for most people who lift regularly and follow a program, the program's not gonna be that exciting day to day. I know for me, I pretty much follow the exact same program in the gym with maybe little changes with reps or weights or maybe an angle or a tempo shift for about eight to 12 weeks. And most of those things are pretty basic. Squat, lunge, deadlift, push, pull, rotate. Like it doesn't get super fancy in there. Sometimes I'll throw in fancy stuff for fun, but the fun stuff is not the majority of the work. And most of what you see people post online is just the fun stuff, which means that the consumer thinks that all of the stuff is the fun, where really most of the stuff is the basics. So I'm very intrigued to see how Sydney does like a lower body strength workout today, just working on the basics and um, we'll come back and talk about it. Let's talk schedule. You can see I've already been out and about. I actually had a terrible night's sleep and so did Kevin, sorry. I just like keep coughing the whole night and there's, I don't know what to do. I've drank like six of these a day. I have cough drops. I have cold medicine. I have my little like nebulizer. I don't know. I'm hoping this stops because I woke up every hour in like a coughing fit and then I ended up moving out here on the couch at like 4 a.m. So luckily today is a light one. So I had a client in Manhattan at 7.15. We have a little break. In about 30 minutes, I'm gonna film a kettlebell workout for my intro to kettlebell program that's coming out in January. Then we're gonna do Sydney's workout. We have one more virtual client and then we're gonna edit and then I'm gonna catch up with one of my best friends on the phone. She lives in Buffalo. So that's the day. I'm gonna get set up, write out my program, get the room ready to film and um, I will see you in a bit. Actually, let's move. And why do I have like a trifecta of sweatshirts right here? <laughs> All right, so we have two things to talk about. Was that workout science backed and did I enjoy it? Let's start with the science backed part. 
And what are we looking for based off of the description as well as the title? We're looking for a lower body strength workout with basic exercises and heavy dumbbells. I love all of that. So we've talked a lot about strength programming, which heavy dumbbell, lower body strength workout, this should be a strength-based program. And if you are working for strength, you need a few things. You need to be working heavy enough. Typically strength training is defined as like 60% of your one rep max. Typically, I'm gonna say that you're gonna be working for 12 reps or under. Anything more than that is gonna be more strength and endurance, maybe a little bit more cardiovascular, and we need rest time. So keep those three things in mind. I want to really quickly first touch on the fact that like the warm up, I think was 30 seconds. I actually had already filmed an entire 40 minute workout, so I didn't really need to warm up. I was just doing some foam rolling. I figured we'd be doing squats, so I was trying to get my internal rotation going and my hips a little bit better. And all of a sudden the workout started. We were goblet squatting and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I definitely think we needed more of a warm up for a heavy leg day like that. And I just wanna throw that out there because it is something we talked about on the Caroline Gerben day. So getting into the bulk of the workout, we had eight exercises. We performed three sets, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the rest time. There was not enough. Not even nearly enough. Also eight exercises. We actually didn't need that many. What I would have done was taken the first four exercises. Those are great. It was a goblet squat. It was an RDL. It was a reverse lunge and a glute bridge. We're getting a lot of great stuff there. We have a knee dominant, a hip dominant, a unilateral, and then another hip dominant. But now we're working the glutes in the shortened position rather than the lengthened position like the RDL. So really comprehensive. And if you lift heavy enough and understand how to create tension throughout the whole body and really challenge yourself through three or three to four sets of those four exercises, you're good. So what I probably would have done, and I use this structure a lot in my 30 minute classes, I would have done three to four sets of each exercise. Let's take the goblet squat, for example. I would run the clock for 60 seconds and say, hey, you have 60 seconds to get in four to six reps of your heavy goblet squat. Whatever time you have left over is your rest time. Now, if you don't have heavy weights that are gonna challenge you to like 60% of your one rep max, so at least a six out of 10 intensity, bring it up to eight to 10 reps. I like to give those options because I fully understand that not everybody at home has access to all of the weights in the world. So that's also just something to think about as you're programming. Now, is that still the optimal amount of rest time to be lifting super, super heavy? Probably not, but like, Remember, we're not always looking for the most optimal, right? We have to take into account that people have a time limitation, which is why I put out a lot of 30 minute workouts. We have to take into account that sometimes people get bored and they need to be entertained, which is why they're not just going to a gym and putting in their headphones. They're doing something at home with someone coaching them. Another way you could structure this is to give the full amount of rest to do four to six reps of your heavy goblet squat and then come down onto the floor and during your one to two minute rest time, maybe you're working on a mobility drill. Maybe you're working on your internal rotation in some kind of drill to really get more out of your squats. That way your heart rate can come down. You're not really fatiguing the muscles in the same way and you're doing something that's going to benefit your lift as you go through the next few sets. I'm going to say it one more time. 30 minute workouts are really hard to program. I've done a lot of trial and error over the last three years like doing this virtually from home and I do think that I have found a few different structures that work really well if you're still working for more of like a pure strength focus. So that's the way that I I would have approached it. I would have nixed the last four exercises. It honestly was just kind of like redundant. I didn't think that we needed it. So I don't know. I hate to do this because I really used to love her programming. And again, this is one workout. We can't base someone's entire line of work off of one thing. But for science back for this specific workout, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I did it really mathematically in my head. I took off a point for the warm up and I took off a point for the programming. We'll leave it at that. Let's move on. I don't wanna be mean. Did I enjoy the workout? I, for the most part, liked the exercises. Like I, I saw what she was going for. I really loved the fact that she was queuing throughout. But my main takeaway was like, girl, do you have somewhere to be? It felt so rushed from the warm up to rushing us through the exercises. It just felt, I don't know. It just felt like she wasn't fully present. And this is what I've actually been hearing a lot that Sydney's been uploading less workouts, which I fully understand, but the workouts that she has been uploading have been shorter and the programming, the, the quality inside of it hasn't been as great. And look, I get it. She's a mom now, she's married, she's got stuff to do. Her business has blown up. Her old business model was literally uploading a workout every single day, which is absolutely wild. And I don't think that she should go back to doing that. But I just think that with a little bit more strategic structure and planning, 
she could avoid kind of this response. Again, I really like Sydney. I respect her. I admire her. I think she's so smart and does a lot of great stuff. I just didn't really enjoy this workout which makes me really sad. Let's do this mathematically again. Okay, for enjoyment, I'm also gonna give it a three out of five. I think I got my hopes up a little bit too much because I loved her stuff so much three years ago, but it's not fair to completely judge someone based off of preconceived notions. So that's the total. Let's pick tomorrow. Shoot, I gotta hurry up. I have a client in eight minutes. All right, tomorrow's workout is. Rise by Jason and Lauren Pack. I don't know what Rise is in terms of what their program is, but I do know that they're in this bowl a lot. So I might not pick Rise based off of how my body's feeling tomorrow. Like if that's like a really high intensity program, I do have a feeling I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. But we're definitely gonna try something from them. So Jason and Lauren, super excited. That's what we got on the docket tomorrow. I have a client in seven minutes now, so I gotta go and I will see you all tomorrow. This should be a peace sign. Bye.